ladies and gentlemen, don't look now, but a bunch of NASA people are now regularly starting to dunk on all the people in the YouTube community who sold a grand solar minimum for five years. Um, you can move goalposts if you want, but the grand solar minimum is dead. Tickety tickety bang. We got another coronal mass ejection as the sun is lit up with sunspots. Hey, remember, when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, people kind of lose their minds. We're talking about an update on the C74. Coronal dimmings may be used for an initial assessment of whether the CME will hit us right in the face. It seems that the dimming areas, even including transient ones, are limited around AR12790. Perhaps only a glancing blow around the 10th, baby. Yeah, so, you know, I'm just calling it like it is, and it doesn't appear that a mini ice age has manifested in five years. It doesn't appear that a grand solar minimum is going to manifest, and it doesn't appear that Donald Trump's win is going to manifest either. So it's like they're shooting zeros across the board, man. But if you go after low-hanging fruit, then, you know, I guess low-hanging fruit can't tell the difference. Also, the safe harbor laws for the election go into effect tomorrow on the 8th, and then the electoral colleges vote on the 14th. So, yeah, it's game over, man. CME now visible in stereo core 2. Looks like a pretty nice coronal mass ejection. Stay tuned for measurements. That's what she said. This is worth keeping an eye on due to the responsible region being in a very geo-effective region. Oh, yeah. And hey, empires fall during a solar minimum and empires rise during a solar maximum. So the idea of wish casting as a grand solar minimum was always weird to me because I want better times for all of us, my friends. We have just seen an almost M-class flare. It was eruptive and in the Earth strike zone, but the CME appears to have been directed a little south. We'll have to stay tuned. I don't know, man. I guess if you want to get the maximum views and subscribers, A, you got to have good hacking skills, and B... You gotta tell people what they want to hear, even if it's incorrect. I told y'all the sun will be lit in December, and so I'd like to make another prediction. In 2022, real Donald Trump will become a hit as a Viagra salesman with the popular baby boomer catchphrase, rig direction. <laughs> All right! Hey, yeah, Thor News will go back to non-political uh, January 20th. So, you know. And I found a sun-diving comet. Check that out. That is comet is headed straight towards the sun. And watch, it gets hit with a little flare and coronal mass ejection as it gets close to the sun. Watch, here we are. And then here it, bam, it hits it with the CME. I guess the sun wanted to clear its path or something. So, fascinating times ahead. You know what I'm saying? And remember, y'all, with the grand conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn coming up on the 21st, uh, the very last degree of Capricorn, which is one of the reasons that this year was so crappy, that the from now on the 16th are going to be pretty sketchy days. And so, prepare for more major energy leading up to the solar eclipse, which will be happening on the 14th of December. I'm pretty excited. All right, so we can see here that the sun is definitely starting to wake up, and it'll show us the coronal mass ejection, which just happened today in the 7th. Bing, bang, boom. Ready, set, Freddy. Boom. No, that's not it. Right there. That was it. And that's Venus right there. And this is our cat hair of doom. Planet X. Planet 9. Call it what you will. Call it what you want to. And so things are definitely getting very interesting again. So that is exciting. Because, you know, better times are ahead as we head towards solar maximum. Some people are saying 2023. I'm saying 2025, but we will have to stay tuned because with solar physics, very few people can predict the future. Look at that one. That was a pretty good one, huh? Yeah, totally. And I'd like to take a moment to show you just how wrong the solar minimum guys, grand solar minimum guys have been. This is NASA and NOAA's prediction for the sun, solar cycle, sunspot progression. And so this is, was last solar maximum solar minimum and then so basically it was the same shit so it wasn't going to go into some major minimum but look these are like in september the predicted values were 2.7 low but in october predicted values were 3.3 and then the monthly values which turned out to be 14.4 .4, 
which almost five times that number. And then now you can see here, the predicted values were four. And in November, the monthly values were 34 for sunspot cycle progression. And if you head on down to radio flux, you can see that the predicted number for October was 68.9 for the solar flux, radio flux, and it was 74.6. And now the predicted value for October was 68.9. And, um, and so the, for November, the predicted value was 69. Oh, baby. And the monthly values was 90. And so December is definitely going to be off the charts with all the sunspots they got on the sun right now. And so it's exciting, you know, it's exciting. I told the entire truth community not to put all their eggs in one basket, especially when you don't really have a lot of proof, because as Carl Sagan said, you know, great claims require great evidence. We, are, we've never, we don't really have, like, what is the evidence that we are in a grand solar minimum? What evidence have you ever had, man? I don't know. I'm kind of tired of the basis accusations or basis claims that just get made. And as long as you get everybody to repeat them, it's like that thing Hitler said. I don't remember the exact quote, though. Hitler's not my favorite guy. He's one of my least favorite guys. Anyway, Hitler was a dick. So yeah, stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? And get ready for the Royal Grand Conjunction. Get ready for Hanukkah. Get ready for Kwanzaa. Get ready for... Yeah, that was a pretty nice, massive snap-off, yo, bro. So get ready for more wackiness and craziness. Okay? I love you guys. Stay cool. And sure, yeah, a lot of Grand Solar Monday guys are dicks and hackers and assholes but you know that's what minimum solar activity is going to bring you i guess you know darkness attracts darkness and light attracts light although moths that's a different thing it's talking about all right everybody stay cool god bless everyone